Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today we're switching up a little bit, and I'm going to be covering the Plunderstorm rewards here for you guys. It's a little bit of a switch up. Most of these apply to retail, but some of them actually do apply to classic, and I just wanted to sort of give you a breakdown for the rewards and everything that you can get for all forms of World of Warcraft. Before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So once you do your first game of Plunderstorm, it sort of walks you through. There's quests you can do. You can earn plunder and so on. And then you have this renown system copied from the Dragonflight launcher, and it yields some awesome rewards. The main ones are going to be a lot of cosmetics for Dragonflight. Obviously, this is mainly aimed at retail. However, there are some awesome rewards for uh, Classic as well. So, like, Classic Wrath, you can get this pinchy pet right here. And then Bubbles for Dragonflight. So, really cool to see a Classic pet in here to really encourage people from Wrath Classic to go and play. Um, everything else is really Dragonflight rewards till the end. Um, we just go all the way over here. There are a few mounts, but mostly just cosmetic transmog stuff. Um, but it has 40 tiers of this. And at the 39th tier, you get the Polly Roger mount. And then you also get the Polly Roger flying mount on Wrath Classic, which is really cool. I wonder if it's a 310 movement speed mount or not. And then at level 40, you get a Tabard and the Plunder Lord title. Now, these are really awesome sort of rewards. It's cool to see them tie a, like, Battle Royale sort of retail-aimed game into Classic World of Warcraft. And it's, you know, I have fun playing it. I would highly recommend that you guys get out there and, you know, get in there and play it. It is really fun. Um, the math behind the rewards is most people probably get about 500 Plunder Per, per run and it takes about 2500 plunder per uh, tier as you can see right here so you're going the math comes out so you're looking about 40 to 30 hours of playing this if you can get games last about 8 to 12 minutes depending on how well you do um, and if you're earning about 500 plunder per run you can very easily, you know, keep grinding out so you can get about a renowned tier an hour if you're really blasting and doing well. And so you can get to 40 in about 40 hours of playtime to get these rewards. Now, me personally, you know, I I played one game and I suck at it, as you can see. And I've only got 39. I landed somewhere and died. I need to look more <laughs> into this game to actually sort of play it if I'm going after those mounts. But I just wanted to give you guys the information on this new fun game. It did seem pretty fun and cool to play. I would highly recommend that you give it a whirl. But those are sort of the renowned rewards, what you can get and why you would do it. In order to play, you just simply have to launch uh, a retail World of Warcraft. And then you go to Plunderstorm up top here. So, like, it'll be your normal Dragonflight. And in order to switch to it, you just go to... Uh, plunder storm at the top right here and then you're in and then you can do solo duo join game customize your character i try to make my troll look as much like my troll mage in uh classic as i could because you know i felt like that was fitting but it's really simple you don't need to pay any extra money anything like that you just simply have to have a uh active subscription for wow which is what you need to play sod to play classic wrath or dragon flight so really cool nice job by blizzard i kind of wish they would do like a free weekend with it because if you do a free weekend then a lot of people who don't really play world of warcraft could come give it a try without having to spend 15 dollars a month that they probably wouldn't use if they were to do Dragonflight or Wrath Classic. So just really cool. And I, you know, I hope they uh, sometimes will let other people try this because it's really fun, really simple, really basic. But anyway, guys, that's it for Plunderstorm and all the rewards you can get on Wrath Classic for this. So if you have any questions, anything like that, definitely drop it down below and I will do my best to answer. But until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. 
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.